Hello again viewer and welcome to Planet Film. We're back in the dark room again. Today I'm only wanting to make one print from one negative. The negatives we shot up at Killer Cross with the Minux cameras. So it'll just be a quick one today. Let's get started. Yeah I think I think negative 57, 58. That'll be the first choice. I'm only intending on doing one print here today, so let's get that in the carrier and have a look. Okay, we've got our chosen negative in the negative carrier. We'll give that a quick dust off. And we'll get that in the enlarger. Just a small test on the go here. Ever conscious of the cost of fiber based paper, it's quite expensive. Uh, the dear, I won't take you through the entire laborious process of 10 minutes or even more. Some people do even more 10 minutes development times of lift. We covered that in the previous video and, and one before that, so, so I'll bring you back in when uh, there's a little bit more to show. Here we are, six minutes in. The blacks are coming up nicely. This is from a four minute exposure under the enlarger. Pretty much the same as the other negatives. One of them we did give a little bit more time, but for the test print, I went straight in at four minutes on this one. Probably a, doesn't look much difference, but it looks like it's it's got to be a thinner neg. Doesn't look much on the on the light box, but uh, <clears throat> this has come up quite quick. It's amazing the difference the density and the negative can make with lith. Even up to the test print, I would like some more detail here. Bearing in mind, of course, this is a snow seam we're looking at, so it's always going to be very light torn, but. Well, we're eight minutes here, and I think I'll pull that test now. Here we go, stop and fix. Here we are with that test print in the fix, and it's looking great. It's looking great. Right, straight in for a full size print. Okay, so a full size print. We're about six minutes in and those blocks are starting to jump. They're running along very quickly today. Already I can see we've got detail in the sky. There's your paper white border across the top and down the sides. So we've got torn in there. The sky wasn't as quite as muggy. A little bit further down the bank as it was up on the top. So we might get a, a bit of actual cloud detail or something in there. But if we've got a bit of colour to on, I'll be happy. Details come in along the bottom there as well, where, where this white snow detail is. We've got colour to on in there. If there's any actual detail, remains to be seen. Difficult to see under the sea flight. That's our eight minutes, but I think we'll just push that a little bit further, just so hopefully we'll get a bit more in these areas here in that snow, or snow covered grass. Loads of detail coming up on the uh, skyline there. I think we'll make that do. Stop and fix and we'll have a good look. Okay, in the fix. And let's have a look under room light. Right, 
one thing that can't be said for lith it's full of surprises and this is certainly a happy surprise that's serendipity again I'll get rid of that well <coughs> okay here we are on the wash I'll just turn that off for the moment so we can hear ourselves speak it's not very often that happens in lith printing one quick test print one full size print no dodging, no burning excellent very pleased with that, very happy indeed lith is a Lith is a lovely process to learn and to perfect um, but it can be a little bit torturous at times so when you get one that just jumps out the tree at you like this it, uh, it certainly puts a smile on your face anyway that was a quick one and it's a wrap so I'll see you next time